Hey guys, Sword here, and this is Operation Bedrock update number 5. Basically, I'm going to show you what work we have done all in one night that we have done more progress than in a week. Because, no offense to my other friends, we have really been slacking off, honestly. I just don't want to be that guy saying that we have been slacking off, even though we have done work. It's just more or less for the progress of the actual operation, it seems like we've been slacking comparing. So, basically, I'm showing you guys the tunnel of the entire boundaries of Operation Bedrock. The entire boundary of the world, if you want to call it that. I'm not too sure. Like, on the map, we're just going to basically be walking on the outline. The whole entire outline. We have literally made a tunnel that goes all the way around the world. Even though it's, you have to jump some hoops and go through other corridors. But other than that, all the way to the left... It's basically the edge of the world where you can mine further than that. And basically I have... I, what's his name? I throw X knives to think. He's one, he was pretty much... He sent me a message that he wanted to help me out. I invited him to the party. He joins the game. And we just basically made a lot of progress making these tunnels. Again, no offense to all my other friends who have played with me for the past two weeks. Is that even though we've done a lot, it just seems like comparing to actually t be towards the actual project, it didn't seem like we were making progress. But now, since we've made the entire tunnel on the outside boundaries of the world, well, now we could actually dig, just dig into, just pretty much, yeah, just dig into the tunnels now that we are, will be able to continue mining towards the middle now that's what I want to do we should just mine towards the middle and if we're gonna use TNT first of all I want to get at least a, f a good row of TNT before we actually use it because if we just bring if we just make TNT and use it now and we have none left but there's a lot of things we still need to do I just honestly just want to have it all in one go I just once I get a f once we get a full row of TNT at least maybe a chest maybe I'm not too sure because it does take a lot of creepers to kill to get that gunpowder and you see all the whites on the all the white spots on the white land on the map that's all sand so we have enough sand to go as it is and we could just use all that sand to make some TNT and you probably notice I'm not talking as fast as I usually try to is that I've been getting a lot of comments saying that I talk too fast and I stumble upon my words so now I want to see if I will be able to actually pace myself through the entire commentary see how well that goes see if that does not drone out in a while or see if it sounds any good but as you can see it is a very long distance I would I, I would think it's pretty much I don't know how many blocks it is. I can only assume it's like 800 by 800. That's my guess. But even though, even then, that seem, that is a lot of blocks. If it's a thousand by a thousand, that's probably even better. But I have no idea how long this, how long is the actual tunnel or how long is the actual world. I wasn't really paying attention at all towards the map because I was getting confused of how the map works, especially on the coordinates. But other than that and I know I've been getting a lot of messages of people who want to help I just haven't gone back to you guys yet because my friends list is full and since it's full there's nothing really much I can do I just don't want to delete random people or actually my friends who have changed their names because I have no idea who has changed their names or, or who has kept their names and good thing I actually downloaded message to all friends so sooner or later I'm gonna message to all of my friends telling them about Operation Bedrock and asking them whether if they still remember me if not then they could just remove me just message me to tell me that you have removed me so I could actually add more people and it's kind of awkward to actually send a message to all my friends asking them if they want to join me even if they don't know me or if they know me they want to help but they're not able to so there's nothing really much I can do there it's, it's kind of like what if I did this how will it result and if I didn't do this how will this result so that's kind of where I'm at right now so once I actually message to all my friends I really hope that it doesn't backfire on me because if it does then there's nothing really I can do because I just I, once you do an action, there's consequences that follow, whether good or bad. That's kind of contradicting if it's good consequences. Oh well. So, 
basically I do have a list of people who have been messaging me asking if they want to help me and if you do hear your name in this commentary I, I want to let, let you know that I'll probably get back to you it's just I still need to plan things out a bit and hopefully get all everything done well together because this is has it has to be organized and someone just slammed the door oh okay so if you read your if you hear your name there you go at least I have you on the list there's h2o razzle dazzle xx flames xx1 gen ramona ultimate lugia I love pokemon x wick x brad far xq my girlfriends hate call of duty or cod if you want to call that jet dad jet combo L PhD Flopper L Feared Elite V Furo Walters 30 X Thunder X Snipes or sorry X Thunder X Snipe X Gunshot 541 Panhead Noah Tropical Serve or Swerve sorry Tropical Swerve I throw X Knives you already got your shout out I'm gonna put your link in the description just make sure you message me back because you helped me a lot and I really truly appreciate that not Corgi 720 prayed leader of oh, yes prayed leader I completely forgot to message you I'm sorry that I kicked you from the party but you didn't have a you didn't have a mic and all of a sudden your mic was giving us a high-pitched noise that was going on for two minutes and I kept telling you to mute your mic but you just I don't think you could have heard me or something went wrong. I just had to kick you. I'm sorry. If you see this mess, if you see this video, I'm sorry that I kicked you and I'm sorry I didn't I forgot to message you. But here it is. I want to apologize to you that I kicked you from the party. So please, if you're able to, please get a mic because that's one of the things I I want people. If they want to help me, I will, uh, you're going to have to have a mic so we can actually communicate to each other that we could actually get through this and we could help each other out and make this as fun as possible because a big project like this it's going to be kind of stressful to actually keep track of what's going on what's what's missing what we need to get and if someone is in danger and they need some help we won't be able to help you unless you're able to communicate with us because i would not think you would try to be texting us that you need help when you could have said it, said it verbally so if you are able to you could you could try to get a mic even if you don't really help me out here or how am I gonna say this if you're not able to help me out here and you get a mic just for this project I'll be I'm just gonna be I'm gonna say I'm sorry for that if you just got the mic just for this project but at least you'll have a mic for few for future use you'll be able to talk to other people on Xbox so I would say that it would be a good investment for either this game or some other game you want to talk to people at even if they rage at you or they try to they send they try to insult you just don't let that bother you alright and one more there's pro scribbles he likes to fool around I know you like to fool around and I still hate you for punching my wolf if you would have killed him I would have killed you in real life alright let's see it's still a long tunnel I actually it actually took me 15 minutes to get through the entire tunnel from beginning of my house all the way down but the sad thing is I kind of kind of wasted time in the middle I could I wasted like a one minute and I couldn't couldn't have that in the video because apparently I'm not allowed to upload more than 15 minutes it's, I don't know why it just doesn't allow me this is why I want to get Sony Vegas or Pretty, pretty much Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere or I think it was Adobe After Effects I'm not too sure which one my friends and I talked about but I need to get one of those I, want, I need to get one of those softwares so I'll be able to actually upload longer than 15 minutes onto YouTube because Arcsoft Showbiz already understands that YouTube has a 15 minute limit and won't allow me to upload more than 15 minutes and if there's actually a way to upload more than 15 minutes in Arcsoft Showbiz, the program that came with the HD PVR, I would greatly appreciate that you tell me how to upload longer than 15 minutes. Then I'll be able to actually, again, upload longer than 15 minutes and then have everybody join in. Or, I'm sorry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking ahead of myself. Or just, make, I'm just going to be able to produce longer videos and talk talk things about more than shutting shutting myself off at 15 minutes. There's a lot of things I want to talk about. Alright, let me see. Okay, remember that. Z minus negative 431. So, yes. 
Okay, what else to say? Oh yeah, there was diamonds back there. I'm going to make another video teaching people how to mine that diamond. There is a way to actually mine the one block from the edge of the world, but I'll just put that in a short 30 second video because honestly you cannot set up a diamond spot like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually mine the one spot from the edge of the world. I just don't know what to title it because you could title it so many things, but other than that, there's just a lot of lava everywhere. It's a great light source, but it's extremely annoying to go across, especially when there's a lot of caves. Look at that, there's water and obsidian over there. There's gonna be a lot of obsidian to mine, and I have ideas to do with that obsidian. You see that there's lava and water at the edge of the world to the left. You can't mine further than that one block. So it's gonna be interesting to get rid of every single thing, and especially when you cannot place anything at the edge of the world. So I'm thinking, what should we do from there? But that's all for another day, another thought, some ideas, just whatever. And you see that there was three torches behind me because that's where we connected mine, my friend's house, to the, the actual tunnel. So if we ever want to go back or we want to take a little break, we could go to my friend's house, relax a bit, get some more items, and continue on. See, look at that. We're still walking at the edge of the world. There's water. There's lava flows there's lava falls i can't say call them waterfalls i was about to call them waterfalls so they are, they are lava falls and also since i already mentioned a lot of my helpers i want to mention all my other friends there was ninja boy snipes there's strong dead 1045 there's chain xu blind there's hell raisin 15 there's yes i'm reptar there's chaos rue 23 i'm kind of amazed that i'm still memorizing all these names or remembering all my friends names it's easier to remember my friends names than the helpers except for I throw X knives you're gonna get a spot in the friends list you helped me out so many times you helped me I'm sorry you helped me out so much in this tunnel because right now what you're seeing he helped me out with this tunnel and also I want to say my my friend Pian for helping me I want to thank him for that even though you could be sometimes of a jerk at times but other than that you really helped me out. You supported me and it was your idea to begin with anyways. So, look at that. Z240. We're going to continue on. Let's see how long this world is. And hopefully we could do the math on the spot. So we can know at least how approximately how long the world is from one, one side to the other. Assuming that it is a perfect square. That everywhere else is the same. Or symmetrical if you, even if you want to call that. And look, it's just so... You can tell how, from looking at the video, how long it will take to actually go around around the world, and it's gonna get, it's gonna. At least we're gonna make some shortcuts. I want to make some tunnels and shortcuts, but that's gonna be tremendously hard or difficult because look at all that lava lake. Unless you want to make all that to obsidian, and then that's gonna even be harder because the lava is right under it. All right, let's see, 432. So from one spot to the other world to the other spot, it's. 864 just assuming that that negative has one more spot so basically from what we've seen in this video this the world is 864 by 864 I don't know if you heard that either I'm not gonna retake it I've spoken so much I'm not gonna re redo this video so that is amazing how big this world is so if it's 864 by 864 and let's assume that there are 50 levels of land just assume I'm not I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna say for sure because at bedrock you're at Y5 so I would think I would say that it's gonna be 45 then let's let's be safe and say it's 45 maybe 40 let's cut it off at 40 if you did the math right there I cannot tell you how much that is on the spot I just can't I'm going to have to probably say in another video if I actually did it, did the math correctly. Or if someone else could actually do the math for me. So it's 864 by 864 by 40. Could you tell me how much that is? Or how many blocks there are in the world? And then from there, we could finally know how long it's going to take us. Probably how long it's going to take us to actually finish the project. But as you can see, we are back at start. If you were to go to the other side, we will be back at the staircase. But I'm just showing you guys, we're back at start. My friend's still there, standing for the bones and arrows, which I'm going to show you in another video. But until then, this is update number five. 
hope to have you guys join me. Have a nice day, everybody. I'm Sorokin090, and I'll see you in the next video.